Hi. It is 1 p.m. Nigerian time, and I guess it's 12 noon in Britain. I also where people are sleeping. However, I'd like to welcome you to Verses and Paragraphs. It's a place, it's an open forum for discussion where we talk about everything, about verses and paragraphs and everything in between. Yesterday when I had my maiden edition, I didn't want to assume that everybody understood what verses and paragraphs meant. And so I tried to give some examples or definitions of verses and paragraphs. I think I was very right in doing that too, because later on in the day, I met an 18-year-old girl and we were talking and I asked her if she understood what verses and paragraphs meant. Paragraphs, she knew. But verses, she was looking at me as if, what on earth is she talking about? It's amazing to understand that many people use verses every day and yet they don't know that they are verses. For instance, take for instance, the national anthem. It has two verses. Then again, songs, songs and hymns, they all have verses. And then even the Bible that so many people carry about every day, they have both chapters and verses. So you see, in everyday life, we are using verses and paragraphs for writing. Well, you may not be writing verses every day. You may be singing verses every day. The national anthem has two verses. Arise, O compatriots, that's the first verse. O God of creation is the second verse. And then in the Bible, we have the most popular Bible verse. John chapter 3, verse 16. I'm sure many people know what that is. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, that is a verse. A verse, like I was saying yesterday, it contains lines and they have meter. Now, another thing again, you need to understand about verses is that at times, for example, the people who write songs, they write their songs in verses and then there is a chorus. Now, if you notice in their verses, each verse seems to be telling maybe a story, a journey in their life, and then they have the chorus. I remember there is this, um, the one that's regarded as the father of gospel music, Panam Percy Paul. There is this, his song that he sings, I, I, I am serving the living God. The first verse he talks about in 1976, what happened when he was very ill and everything, and then, of course, Jesus saved him. That's the first verse, and he's telling the story. The second verse he talked about in 1986, where he didn't have food in but Jesus came through. So all I'm saying is that in songs, people tell their stories like a journey, beginning from this year, this is what happened. Always, people who write songs are telling stories in their verses. So that's what verses are all about. Verses are metrical lines. And like yesterday, I told you about verses that have rhyme. And I talked about rain, rain, go away, come again another day, little mena wants to play. And that one has got rhyme. Then again, something interesting, because you see I have just five minutes. Yesterday, I talked about the word of the day. And yesterday's word of the day was serial comic. Now, serial comic means partly comic and partly serious in nature. And I had two sentences from serial comic. And my sister Elwood said, the way the fan was blowing your hair was serial comical. And it actually was, because it was partly serious. I was trying to do something serious. And it was funny the way the fan was blowing my hair. And then she said, um, I don't understand that Clara Gelo, she's so serial comic in nature. I want a shout out to everybody who is watching Joe Gibbs, Joe Jasmine Lobo. He's actually a pastor, but because we're in the universe, I'm calling Joe Gibbs. I'm still calling him Joe Gibbs. Okay, Pastor Joe. Or Joe Gibbs, Ashana, and my sister Eloha is watching. Emily Aldiete is watching from Texas. I'm a young way to have you all on. Now today's word of the day is peculates. Peculates. P-E-C-U-L-A-T-E. Peculates. 
and it is verb. And guess what it means? It's still somebody's money. So honestly, you are best with funds. Other public funds, or maybe somebody entrusted their property to you. Peculate. Now, can you make a sentence with it? They always have money. Embezzle government funds, embezzle other people's properties, and if you do that, you're a peculator. So, I would like you, if you are listening or if afterwards you've listened, to send me your word of the day. Now, that is all I have for today because my time is just five minutes. Thank you so much for allowing me to take up your time and thank you for those who have been watching. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. at the time we we'll continue to talk about verses and paragraphs and everything in between. Don't forget, today's word of the day is speculate. I'll put it on Facebook later on for those who were not listening. So, bye and have a good afternoon.